Ever heard of curb stoners? Well, they're on the streets, at car lots, and on the web hunting for their next victim. Tonight, we shine the light on the repeated unlicensed flipping of used cars for profit. WHNT News 19's chief investigative reporter, Carrie Marchese, takes us inside the deceptive world of curb stoning. Carrie, is this pretty common? Very common, but the average consumer likely doesn't even know it exists. Of course, that is until they get burned. So in a WHNT News 19 Taking Action Hidden Camera Investigation, we're going to go undercover. We did it for one purpose. We expose this illegal act so you don't lose your hard-earned money. Joey Wise works his tail off. I work about 18 hours a day. So losing 1900 bucks to a curb stoner hurt to the core. I'm trying to make an honest living and here somebody is ripping people off. Joey got duped by a curb stoning scam on Craigslist. After responding to this ad, hoping to score a reliable ride for his mom, the man who allegedly robbed him, Terry Starnes. A classic curb stoner, according to Huntsville police, facing a slew of charges all across northern Alabama. Thought of him still being in jail and can't get out, you know, that may compensate some of it. <laughs> Authorities say Starnes was a car flipper. He was claiming he was the dealer of the car. It was in his shop. That's the first red flag. You're dealing with a curb stoner. The second is this, a web of confusion on the World Wide Web. Starnes placed ads on Craigslist left and right. Once you put five cars up for sale, you're required by the state to have a dealer's license. Curb stoners have also taken to the streets. And in a very blatant display, check out this car lot on South Memorial Parkway in Huntsville. It's called Quick and Easy. Private owners pay a little cash to sell their car. But we would soon find out this lot is overrun with curb stoning. Hello? WHNT News 19 went undercover. We sent two employees armed with a hidden camera to meet up with a man who calls himself Billy. My name's Billy. Billy? Billy tells our undercover producer he has more than one car for sale on this lot. Is that why it's here down the end? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. He informs us three of the cars are his and two are his buddies. Hold up, Billy. The city of Huntsville has a little rule. You can't offer for sale more than one vehicle on a lot. And WHNT News 19 tracked down seven for sale with Billy's phone number. Things aren't adding up. Our next meetup, a man named Steve Hughes. On this day, he has five cars with his phone number on this lot. And today's featured prize, a 2005 PT Cruiser. I'm selling it for a friend of mine who okay. is a dealer, all right? Okay. He's a very good friend. You know, I represent him. And he even admits... Uh, I'm not supposed to have dealers here. That's why I said that. We know that, Steve. Clearly, Steve is a busy guy. Every now and again, we'll luck out and get something pretty and nice. Yeah. You know, sell it and make a buck. So what do we have here? Two men potentially beating the system? Being out here at this lot just shows a prime example of how much there are still issues out there and that people just need to stay aware. WHNT News 19 took action and we decided to get some answers. I wanted to talk to you real quick about your business dealings uh, on this lot because we're aware that you have about five cars on this lot for sale right now. Is that really? correct? No, I don't, personally. Using a hidden camera, we actually have you saying that you sell cars on this lot and you actually work for a dealer and that actually having dealers on this lot is not allowed. Oh, really? Can you tell me if you sell some cars in this lot? No. You don't have any cars in this lot. Here's another car right here, 508-3056. Are you representing that car? Hughes wouldn't fess up and eventually walked off the lot. His deals on this day have come to an end. But the unsettling trend that is curb stoning continues across Alabama. And that means the potential for more victims like Joey can't be curbed as of yet. It just burns you up. It's important to point out right now that based on Alabama law, if an individual offers up for sale five or more vehicles, the individual must apply for a dealer's license. Now, you don't have to sell them. You just have to have the intention of selling them. We spoke with the Alabama Department of Revenue. Representatives there say they don't have a Steve Hughes listed as having a dealer's license.
Guys. Car Carrie, what about the owner of this lot? Do they have any responsibility in this at all? Huntsville Police says absolutely. In fact, they dished out multiple citations to the owner for having dealers on the lot. Mm -hmm. And right now they are exploring uh, the opportunity to possibly uh, uh, have some charges brought against the owner of the lot and, of course, the alleged curb stoners working the lot. And, of course, we're going to stay on top of this story and bring you any information as we get it in. We know you will. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Carrie. You bet.